Warning, this video is intended for audiences who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Troy K, you're back again. I really, I really, I really miss William. I've never missed William more. Uh, <laughs> I, even... I think we should just rename the, no, no. the unnamed Tokusatsu. To, right? No, no, William, no, no, oh, oh, oh. no, 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 oh, oh, no, 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 oh, no renaming. Right. No, no, it's just unnamed Tokusatsu thing. And this is oh. you and William's thing. This is oh, not right. my thing. I, oh. I am, I, I am putting my, I am, I am keeping it here. Listen, barring something horrific happening to William, that boy better fucking keep doing this shit because I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I don't want to know what's happening. I've actively chosen to avoid... I, As I said before in different recordings, I have... I, there was a path I could have taken, right? Where I looked at mm -hmm. content and That's I went... Right. And I went, hmm. I know, already know that Japan... That, that Power Rangers is based off of, like, Super Sentai in Japan. But I also mm -hmm. remember that Kamen Rider thing. And I chose Kamen Rider, and I can't imagine the kind of person I would have been if I had chosen Sentai. Like, I imagine that I probably would have immediately said, I don't like this country anymore. I don't want to learn its language anymore. <laughs> I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to become All-American and start playing football or something. Like, I, uh -huh, I, right. I can't... I... I like, it's time, it's like, I would have probably, like, completely unotakued myself, com like, there would be no Gundam figures here. I, uh -oh. Watch, me watching Kamen Rider predates me getting back into Gunpla. Like, okay. that, like, that would be, I, it'd be, I'd be on an entirely different track route, right? Uh -oh. I'd be, I'd be dating exclusively, like, dumb blonde white women, that's a stereotype, <laughs> but I know what I'm saying, oh. like, I would I would be collecting fucking like goddamn like I wouldn't even be playing magic I, or maybe I would be playing magic but I wouldn't oh, be okay, okay. I wouldn't be fucking I wouldn't I'd only read I'd only read fucking uh uh Marvel comics and and uh -huh. and fucking shit and like it's like duh, I did like any time I would the and the only anime that I would know or have ever heard about would have been the first season of Attack on Titan and then I would have stopped watching and that's mm -hmm. it. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, anyway, hey, look at this. It's fucking goddamn Don Brothers. A show uh, about... Yeah, hey, I don't Don know what Brother, the fuck. Episode 7. A group of teachers, right? Boy, hey, so like I've been saying, like, there's... No one knows what the plot of Don Brothers is, right? And we're seven episodes in, and we're still barely establishing... But, like, you know, the whole plot element that we established last week with the points... Completely ignored within this episode to the point where I was like, "Oh, what was the point of them, right? Yeah, like the also, literal point. What was the literal point of the point system, right? Yeah, like they don't even acknowledge it. This episode, it feels again. like we should be continuing to roll on that arc of like each of the like rangers like using their points and like learning how to use their points or like mistakenly using their points or something. But like, mm -hmm. right, nope, right, anyway, yeah, that's actually good. That's good character development. Anyway, and here we go. Uh, time to go to school. Back to school. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's let let's everyone go into your desk and your desks are perfectly six, six, uh, six feet uh, space feet for some reason, you know, feel like this classroom should be way bigger, but for some reason, it feels very empty. <laughs> it's very empty, it's and there's only, there's only, like, 12 kids. No, it's it's because it's the special voluntary lesson. That's why. Oh, that's... Boy, hey, so... so Wait. Were you here, mm. or not, where we established that the main, the Yellow Ranger, uh, was outed out as a plagiarist? I mean, I came in on was... episode two, and I was like, okay, I guess she's being outed as a plagiarist. I don't know what the fuck oh, is going okay, on yeah, with that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm, right. apparently that's still fucking like. Uh, oh yeah, she still has a resolve. That's a plot. I was, that was I thought that was like going to be a plot point for her, right? Like an actual story arc. It's still barely getting resolved. I mean, right? it's still definitely a plot point. It's just like a sad one of just like she gets yeah in school to the now. point where uh, everyone at school just calls her plagiarist, which is absolutely insane. Holy shit! Yeah, welcome to Japanese schools, I guess, where uh, you they find one thing and that's it. Mm -hmm. I and mean, she, and she just straight up living with this, yeah, right, which is insane. Yeah, uh, which is not good. It's really like again, also like considering that her aunt, right, is like a 
yeah. cop or something. It's like, I feel like she should be able to, like, resolve this issue pretty quickly. Like, call a lawyer. Like, mm-hmm. like get legal represent. Like, if I was call if I was told that, like, something that I published, that I put out, was a was a plagiarized piece, I would mm-hmm. call a lawyer and be like, no, I have a fucking, like, I have, uh, like, I got the receipts, I have documents, I have, uh-huh. especially I have if it's like... It, it doesn't help when the world, when the, when the secret society is controlling the police and the government. Sure, but your, ma- your aunt is the police, and it's like, also, she... Like, again, it's one of those things of, like, I don't know, who who is the person that they claim that she plagiarized it from? Uh, it hasn't been a sad. What All the we fuck? How do they one? go? How do they go? Oh, she's plagiarized her work. We have no, there, no one's, we don't have any person that uh, we can attribute to. We don't know to. the name of the person. We Literally, in episode one, she wins an award after, like, after whatever, how long she's been publishing. She probably wins, like, the new, the new Arthur of the year award, right? Mm-hmm. You know those events that Japanese, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they go, does. yeah, they go like, hey, you're the best you're under the rising 18, star. like, uh, right, rising right. star, like, yeah. It literally took them a year to realize, uh-oh, uh, you plagiarized, but, I mean, obviously within the... Wait, show, so, she so, did, hold right? on. It wasn't even that... It, it was mm-hmm. after she got the award and a year after, like, it was out that they realized that it was a... that she... they called it plagiarized? Yeah, right? But that's the thing, right? Within the show's context, it's always that she did because it's the, what is it, the, the, uh, the Anami, the, the fucking, whatever the stupid, uh, thing is, right? That they're, they're the one behind the scenes and they're actively making it, right? Wait, wait, like, wait, 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 show, wait, wait, the fucking, the fucking Ultraman? The Sarah, not the Ultra, the Sarah Brains? Not, not, not the Sarah Brain, but like the, the stupid, uh, like the actual, the grunts, right? Are the ones that are actively... Are actively uh changing uh controlling everything. Like, wait, wait, what do you mean the like, grunts? You mean the monster of the week? No, not the monster of the week. The the literal grunts. The the, the stupid have... the stupid. Oh, the weird like the weird like fucking uh tie dye like, enemies, like, right? Modern art swirly paint job looking motherfuckers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. The grunts did it. <laughs> right. Literally, but in the so pretty much. Episode one was Day Live. Like, it was literally the, the movie Day Live. Mm-hmm. Right? So, pretty much, she found out about the secret society, right? And now the secret society, right, of, of, of monsters is actively trying to keep her quiet about the secret society. And they're ruining her life. What? Right, like, she didn't actually plagiarize the manga with an episode yeah. one. Yeah. Until, until the, the, the secret society was like, oh boy, hey, quickly sketch, copy her work, and then claim she copied our work, you know, and then control the media and everything to pursue our narrative, right? So, the whole... So this whole issue that she's dealt with was literally just... The monsters did it. And mm-hmm. the, the the grunt, I mean, uh, uh, under somebody's direction. They're not fucking free agents, I assume. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that's how we got here, and it hasn't been resolved yet. And nope. And there's no, there's no she's attributed. Just with it. There's no attributed, like, there's no attributed author to who, like, she stole from or like who she plagiarized. Mm-hmm. It's just right? a loose claim on the boy. Boy, that's actually more infuriating because that that is saying that like someone just making a loose claim like on the internet is just like yeah no they're they're clearly they're right because they said it like that's it's literally an uns- it's the definition of an unsubstantiated claim of just like like actually she got canceled on Twitter she got canceled from manga because of like a claim that had no backing I understand. There are plenty of people in this world who have fucking deserved to get fucking canceled. We've talked about mm-hmm. them on Saber with people who double decide to double down and have the initials RH but aren't Ryan Haley of Funhouse. Mm-hmm. Fucking wild that if you got accused of something, they had no backing on it, and you said, I mean, I didn't do it, they would just roll with it. Especially considering...
I don't even know like how to like feel about yeah, no, Subaru, about Subaru Kimura like like mm-hmm. whether or not like I feel like he deserves uh, uh, to be like redeemed or not but like god especially as a black person it's just like ah it's really bad man that's really bad but like someone just said something about her and said, "Hey, I heard that she was a fucking uh, yeah, the and, then, and, 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 and then they and then they straight up made a whole conspiracy about her. Yeah, and then everyone believed it. And then they right? just and that's just she's just rolling with that in life. And her own her own police officer aunt is like, mm, it's one o'clock somewhere. Yeah, this evidence is pretty good. Yeah, right. You know, they they they, uh, they put out they, they put out a very good argument. You yeah. know, I right? don't know. Q's got some points." <laughs> That's it. Hey, it is. It is. It is two p.m. And I'm all, and I'm already drinking. You know, yeah. everything seems like a good argument for yeah. me right now. Yeah, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna, gonna drink one more of these shots post- that are on my wind uh, uh, that are on this poster board or whatever that I have. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So that was literally episode one of her fighting out the secret society of monsters. God. And okay. so basically, it still doesn't make sense that she's the narrator of the show. Right. When it's yeah. established that anyone can become the narrator. I mean, it, right? yeah. So like, depending like, on if which. This entire show was from her entire viewpoint. I would have been fine with her being the narrator. But the fact that any character can just jump in and be the narrator at any point in the show absolutely uh, frustrating me because that's not a good story narrative at that point. Well, I also if they establish that other characters can become narratives within this media, I would have been fine. But the fact that they keep making it like she's the main narrator when it's clear she isn't, it's absolutely insane. But I also can't tell if, like, I can't tell the tense from which she's, like, from which any of the characters are coming from as narrators. It's like, is this happening pre? Uh, is this happening pre? Uh, uh, I think this is all happening in real time. Like, is this happening? Re- is she narrating in real time, or is it like? Because sometimes it also feels like, I guess it's like a uh, past tense of like, I never knew that stuff would happen. Right? I think this is all happening in real time with these characters. They're just narrating stuff in real time, you know? Yeah. Right? It's like that It's like that episode of Family Guy when Peter monologues everything. Yeah. Or the episode of Rick and Morty where there's the, the what were they, the monologians or whatever weird alien that's like, uh, 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 there's like, when they have the weird, uh, like, Godfather parody or whatever, and like, it turns out mm-hmm, there's just mm-hmm. a bunch of, like, there's a couple of worms in their heads that are like, trying to monologue the whole thing yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right but yeah uh it's definitely this is definitely an inconsistent as fuck show oh yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. right that's right yeah right yeah, yeah so she goes to school and then uh the blue ranger uh shinichi is this week's teacher or something i don't i don't fucking know yeah apparently this, this is the is... first time we've seen her in, this is the first time we've seen her actually this is like the second time we've seen her in in school by the way in so actual like, class know. okay yeah. Well, the first time she wasn't even in class, she just went to school and then left. That's it. I guess. So it's like so. the first time we actually seen her in class, and uh, boy, this uh, this is a really bad. I don't like this character. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know what's up with him. He's definitely like almost a hippie, like, or just dumb, like. Mm-hmm. I- hey, look. He's a guy that looks like he wants to live off the grid, yeah. but he's living off the grid by living on the actual grid. Yeah, right? He's living off the grid, but on he's like the conservative mindset of like people like living off of uh like uh, off of government support or whatever. Like he's their wet dream of just like oh this this freeloader who doesn't do a day of work in his life. It just. He's just getting uh, unemployment checks and blah, 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 and benefiting mm-hmm. from the government. It's like, that is that is kind of this guy. He's just yeah. living off of the benefits of, like, other people giving him shit. Right? And I like how he just tries to gas... I like how she actually says that she's trying to gaslight the class as well. Which is after... I was like... I was, when I was watching the scene, I was like, man, he's really gaslighting this class. And then she said it herself, Haruka, I was like... Oh no, he's he's gaslighting this guy. I was actually living when yeah. like, when he when, yeah, when she like, said that. Also, why is this a class? Also, like why? Like, I it's 
I it's still couldn't figure out what class this was. I mean, right? she said it was a voluntary class of you, like they bring in a, a like a guest teacher basically. But why would that be a thing? And I mean, I guess that's kind of a cool thing in high school. Like you could get to learn a lot of different, uh, yeah, learn about a lot of different, matters, like right? yeah, a lot of different like uh, career. I classes thought this and should stuff. be more like an after school thing, if anything, right? Yeah. But, for this to happen, but this takes like during the moment, like, like imagine there was just a class you're gonna just take in during any point. Right? Hey, here's a class where some random guy comes in mm -hmm. and he talks about something for thirty minutes, and that's it. And, and then you, and then you repeat that for the rest of the year, right? Yeah. What, what, what an insane class. Yeah, it's uh, it also doesn't seem like well regulated of like who gets to like. I understand that like clearly. Uh, also, I guess. I kind of piece this together. I really, again, I need William back. I need I need mm -hmm, him mm -hmm. to right, right. Uh, free me from this hell. Um, okay, but, yeah. But I realize that, like, okay, each one of them are based off of some, like, like all of their names are uh, references to their respective, like, part in, in the Legend of Momotaro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, like, I didn't realize that his name was, like, that the blue one was, like, Saruhana or whatever, like, it's, yeah, like, yeah. literally, mm -hmm. like, monkey shit. I'm like, oh my god, of course, yeah, I guess so, yeah, fuck it. Uh, and it's just one of those things of, oh, man, wow, Jap Japanese, wow, it's the, what, a, what a great pun, Jesus fucking Christ. God damn it, why the fuck would you name, like, what is that name? What the fuck, like... Yeah, I guess so. The the fucking monkey guy would be the one with the monkey name. Uh But yeah, sure. Whatever. Fine. Um anyway, also there's a weird uh uh globe man running around doing shit. Uh Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, boy, hey, I I'll get to him in a second. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, so he just tells everyone, "Hey, you don't need to worry about surviving for in the future, you know." Yeah. Right? You don't have to worry about jobs. Or security, dental, just use your imagination, you yeah. know, right? And you'll be fine. Just right? like people who say, just like people who say, um, the mind over matter thing about like being able to beat cancer. God, I knew somebody in high school that tried to make that fucking like point in uh -oh. a goddamn class, and it was like, boy, and it was like, mm. I don't think mind over matter can beat like literally because it was. I don't even think this was in psych class, but it was something where it was like we were definitely talking about placebo effects and stuff, and like the way that you can just imagine it and will it away and it's like i don't think that works with cancer i gotta be real honest with you like i don't think that works all the time or a lot of time hey, look. hey wait, look. was he a proud mind was, oh. he, thinking everyone else was, was he was he that's a bold assumption how dare you assume her oh, gender because boy. she was also <laughs> her uh, name starts with q and end with an n it doesn't but i think that she was actually literally related to uh the woman that published the tiger mom book <laughs> and it was like bruh what the fuck like so like the more i hear about your high school the more exciting it gets every single time you know it's right? really bad it's real <laughs> look it turns out that uh much like certain games like fallout 76 uh bethesda can be a bad place sometimes like, mm -hmm. it's right, just a right. place where mistakes happen, and, like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, man. There were some... You'd think in one of the most affluent, white-as-shit fucking areas of, uh, not only, forget the country, but just, like, the state and the county, or at least the county, uh, you'd go... Oh yeah, this is gonna be a pretty pretty normal place. It turns out when you give a bunch of dumbass kids a lot of their parents' money, they get really fucking weird. Um. Anyway, yeah, don't try to beat cancer with your thoughts. That's a dumbass. Yeah, yeah. Don't fucking listen thought. to a don't listen to a homeless guy coming and telling you to tell you that you don't. But need he's not money a, he's not a homeless guy. He has a house. It's he just has it. Like don't listen to the person that is literally like. He's almost Donald Trump, right? Where he's just living off of, like, his... I, I don't know what the fuck this deal was with the house, but I assume it's like he inherited the house from his parents or something. 
Like, mm -hmm. all of his fortune is, like, inheritance or, like, the the jet, the donations of strangers, like, that believe in that believe in the words that are coming out of his mouth and, and pay him for advice, which is literally how Donald Trump makes his money now. And it's how he's made yeah. his money because he keeps selling fucking his name on hotels. He doesn't even own his mo most of his fucking hotels. Like, it's a fucking wild thing. Um, but anyway, he instead he's just a crazy person. Yeah. And, and we as a high school decided to invite him over. Uh, and then yeah. we, Boy, and, this high school definitely did not vet their guests. Well, seeing this as, is the worst. Seeing as the, what a terrible TED Talk class seeing as, is, right? Seeing as the opposite, yeah. Class. But seeing as the, the, the fucking uh, uh, counterpoint was, let's hire the delivery man that goes around town to come in, is like the most fucking like diametrically opposed like, you don't need to work a day in your life. It's money is bad. Versus, I had to eat a squirrel this morning. Like, <laughs> I I eat out of... I eat whatever I can get. Like, what the fuck? Like, this is... These are two entirely different people. Mm-hmm. Right. It's just so... Yeah, but hey, also I thought that this... He would have been a... I thought that when Momori was... Uh, speaking, he would have had a way worse uh, speech, because uh, I thought he was going to talk about how he loves, he how he makes a bond with every person he meets, but no, he was pretty straightforward. I, I Look, they give me an address, I go to this address, I give them the box, they sign that paper, and I leave. I thought he was going like his whole weird fist, I forgot right up. Oh yeah, no, I like to touch everyone I meet, you know? That's why I went to this class, right? So I can touch all of you, and we can all be as one, right? I thought that was where it was going originally with him, but then it says, oh no, he's just here to just tell everyone that hey look hey look you got look sometimes you gotta work a job no matter how much you hate it to survive yeah i mean right? also especially considering that he was literally like yeah i i'm literally only here because i lost a bet and then like right. the kids just decide like wait whoa, 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on don't leave i want to we want to fuck with you more and it's just like because of the way that momo is he just continues to be like straightforward which is honestly fine because it's like honestly that's uh that's what i would fucking do to uh like if i had to deal with a goddamn like if i had to be an impromptu like teach guest teacher of the day i would give zero fucks which is again why i shouldn't be a teacher and why i wouldn't be invited as like a guest teacher and why you should vet people <laughs> but like yeah. i would be like mm -hmm. i would be like if they said like one girl literally asks if he has a girlfriend, which, like, I mean, I guess that's kind of, like, innocuous. But then the next kid asks him what color his underwear are, and it's mm -hmm. like, like, my response wouldn't be with, like, what, like, my response wouldn't be, here's the color of my underwear. It'd be, why the fuck do you want to know that? Get out of here. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not doing that shit. Like. Uh, I'm not telling you that shit. Like, I get in trouble, but not for telling the kid. Like, Jesus Christ. Um, but anyway, uh, in the meantime, uh, in the background, fucking, uh, Pink and Black are fighting a goddamn, like, uh, what I can only describe as a planetarium, or like, yeah, yeah, a mm -hmm. weird, yeah, like, or right, like a right. weird durian fruit, like, sort of thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that is... I don't know, making fake structures. Now, who's telling people to, uh, hey, look, you gotta abide by my, uh, by these rules, right, that I'm making up, you know, right? Yeah. It's like, hey, don't, don't litter, you know, I mean, you shouldn't litter to begin with, you know? I mean, you yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like, it's, it's one of those things where, oh, God, what was it with this other thing? Oh, I guess I'm thinking more of Dino Fury, where it's like, the trash fucker. And it's mm -hmm. like, this one actually seems like it might be doing more good than harm. So maybe we just right. let it exist. I mean, look, and we ignore the fact that it 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 traps people into a, into a time space, you know. Ah, uh, right? nah, that's right, what they get. We ignore that. He, he was he was trying to do his, he was trying to make sure people people weren't were not being were not being scum of society, you know, right? Right. If you think about it like that. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, yeah, he, he goes on, uh, this week's enemy is the, fuck, I think it's the Five Choseki, I believe it's what it's called. Uh, let's see, do, 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 the Chiyuk, 
The Chikuki. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah. The Earth. C H I K. Okay, I'm just gonna fucking uh. Oh. oh yeah, but there's a there's a pattern with with all these uh weekly enemies. By the way, right? The Chikuki. Yeah, Earth. Yeah. Fucking they all end something. with you Yuki wait, for some reason. Is that? Hey, wait. Oh. Or or you or, or oh, okay. they all end with the U K I. Oh, I see it. You you. Yeah. Benitsuki, the, Shisotsuki, Rishaki, Kaitoki, Choriki, and Totsuki, Kesatsuki, mm -hmm. Chikyuki. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Yeah. Yeah, so it's using... So they're all... The, the monsters listed according to ranger wiki or hitotsuki mm -hmm. which i would would i what i which i would say are the like human demons basically yeah uh, mm -hmm. and they keep ending in like tsuki or ki uki because mm -hmm. it's the like it's the the kanji that's used is for some version of like the term for demon uh oh, okay mm -hmm. like uh mm. ghost yeah yeah oh apparition yep yep yeah according to what what what, yeah. what, oh, what does it say yeah so it's it's chikyu king because it's like earth demon and it's related to uh fuck which to chikyu sentai five man yeah so, yeah yep. mm -hmm. so every single one of them is like part of oh what the fuck is this one well this one's oh. old as shit this is yeah, before yeah. Oh, we got five Power Man? Rangers. Five Five Man is not. It's like it's like the literal beginning of the nineties, right? Yeah, it's, I'll, I'll, yeah, it's literally starts with nineteen ninety. I was gonna explain to when we get to it about this week's enemy, right? Yeah. But we want now. All right. So let's. I want you to try to take a gander at how this. So as we establish, like every week, the enemy has like a has like some connecting theme, right? Right, like, like, right, because we had two episodes. We had the cop be possessed by the, by the, by the cop ranger demon, right? Right. Last week we had a nurse be possessed by an animal, which, uh, by the way, uh, still very loose, and we know no, no one's figure out, right? Yeah. People are saying is that because, uh, because within the show, the they worked at an animal hospital or something, and they're like, eh, hey, that's the best we got, right? So this week's theme is an herb shape globe thing at a school what do you how do you think the the chikyuki uh relates to uh five men right see the problem is i can't so because this is one that i actually that predates my like frame of reference for for sentai i actually am mm -hmm. so fucking lost in this i'm like Oh no! This 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 one also predates my knowledge of Sentai as well because I only watched stuff from like from like ninety three up, right? I haven't yeah. even bothered going back to Showa era. Yeah, and everything. I assume I can only think that it's like. How do you think the Ranger team relates to this to this uh, Earth principle? This principle in this school, or whatever. I box, can only right? think that it's like a Captain Planet sort of thing where they're all like mm -hmm. about saving the Earth and like recycling and shit. And mm -hmm, that, like, it's right. about making sure that the world doesn't, like, fall apart. Yo, know, that's a pretty good guess, right? Uh-huh. So the connecting theme was that in Five Men, right, mm -hmm. all five rangers were siblings, mm. and they all were teacher at a school. What? And, 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 then, and then they fought to save the earth, obviously. What? Uh, yeah. So that is this week's what? connection. Because this wait, week's a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There were five siblings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Were right, they right. like quintuplets, or were they just? No, 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 no. Like I, I think they were. I think they're all just siblings, right? I'm pretty sure it was like a like 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 the Red Ranger was like the oldest brother or uh -huh. something, right? Like according to this, he was 27. the The next oldest was 25, right? Yeah, yeah. so uh -huh. it was actually like okay. a. Okay, so, is, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that a quintessential quintuplet type, type of situation? Yeah, so, they're, all just, they're all just five siblings, you know? So, right. they had three... They, they had five characters that were all siblings. So, Jesus Christ. 
Okay, and then also let's protect the environment, I guess. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and that they were all teacher out of school. And yeah. that's it. That's this That's Ooh, this week's connecting theory. This week's episode takes place in a school. The main monster uh, was based around a team that w- all went to school. Mm-hmm. We're all teacher out of school. Yeah. That's his... And look, and look, and to be fair, it makes us a better connecting theme than Life Beast Enemy, which people are still trying to figure yeah, out, Yeah, where right? was the connection here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so anyway, oh yeah, and, and, then, and then it just turns out that Momori is just straight up uh, a master at every single fucking thing. I mean, I mean, out. hey, let's be fair. First of all, he says, hey, fuck off, kids. Pull yourselves up by your own bootstraps. Get good, mm-hmm. scrubs. That's right. You How dare... Mm-hmm. It's literally just a fucking... God, it really feels like two extremes of, like, conservative debate of just, like, <laughs> these people only live off of the support of the of the rest of the world. They're, they're feeding off of the rest of, of, off of the elite. And the other part is, like, well, if I, if you work hard and work at McDonald's for little to no pay or some other shit, you too can become super McDonald's and a CEO and you just work harder, you stupid fucks. Uh... Gen Z doesn't know how to work hard, I guess. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, the kids, perf- like, conduct in casual vandalism. Mm-hmm. But, they all challenge yeah. yeah, right? But, I mean, I like the first one that, like, punches, like, the karate one, where it's just, like, he punches... Yeah. First of all, the first student punches a hole through the seat, which is just, like... That's... That's clearly, clearly vandalism, right? Like, that's... Mm-hmm. You're clearly going to get in trouble for that. And then, yeah, yeah. and then it switches to like the more tame ones, and it's like, okay, that's fine. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we gotta have a shogi battle, you know? Yeah. Hey, uh, at, like, oh, hey, right away. No, no thinking. Just keep doing the action. Yeah. Hey, sometimes, uh, some, hey, sometimes things just work on autopilot. That's how Yu-Gi-Oh works. Mm-hmm. That's how shogi can work, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All he did was slap I, the. I, all he did was slap his. The, the brave engine that he his adventure engine that he keeps in his fucking back pocket and he threw it into the shogi match and then he won. All right, all right. So three. So so as you know, you're the you're the resident Japanese uh, language expert, oh, right? Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, how how does American U S English uh automobile works in Japanese automobile? I'm like, how does tongue twister American automobile work with Japanese or tongue twist or or American English tongue twister. How well does that translate to Japanese tongue twister? Uh, right? not at all. Uh, right, because I was really confused when they were when they were doing how much would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck? What I was like, I don't think that works in Japanese. Oh, as it's well. one hundred. I mean, like, let me put it this way, right? Did you think that that's what he said? Because that's what hundred percent not what he said. Uh, mm-hmm. But like, it's it's really like. Uh, it, it's, there was another thing with, uh, Revice recently, uh, mm-hmm. where they, they did something like that, uh, like, no, actually, I know what it was, uh, when, there's a point in the most recent episode of Revice where, uh, Iki is talking to... Subaru Kimura, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And basically, it's like the the subtitle, the the translated word choice is basically in the statement. Uh, Subaru Kimura, like after Iki gets out of the uh, his fucking hallucinogenic fugue state, like yeah, uh, like Subaru Kimura is like, hey. Did you settle everything? Like, the translated thing is, he goes, did you settle everything? And then Iki mm-hmm. goes, yeah. And then, but the, like, the the straight Japanese is like, him is Subaru Kimura asking him, like, did you finish it or is it over? And then, like, and then, uh... And then Iki still replying like yes, but one implies a much more incriminating amount of like, uh, like knowledge about the situation that 
Iki was in, mm -hmm. like, it, ex it, like, clearly incriminates him as, like, oh, you knew what he was going through, how would you have known what he was going through? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, it's like, you made one slight, like, change in the choice there, and it's not the same thing. The idea mm. of, like, with, with this, they just fully, it's not at all... Like, there's, there's no one-to-one -one tongue twister. Like, they don't... You can't... It's just different fucking... Right. It's right, uh -huh. completely different words. They just completely switch to, like... Look, I don't know, man. Uh, we've got to have it be something. Uh, which mm -hmm. is, to an extent, like, the only logical conclusion that you can come to with... Uh, with translation, other than doing this fucking, like, early 2000s things of, like, subtitle, Nakama means friend, like, that shit, mm -hmm. like, but otherwise, it's like, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man, I don't want to be in your position where you gotta fucking translate a goddamn, uh, Japanese, like, uh, like, whether it's a tongue twister, or, like, uh, like a cat, like a, uh, a figure of speech, or something, like, the more it gets the more figurative language gets the harder it is to fucking mm -hmm. translate because you just go right right i don't know i'll find the fucking like uh, english equivalent to that i don't know yeah, Fuck yeah, it. yeah uh but yeah so this just turns into like uh it turns into them fucking fighting each other and then uh, in i guess each week now they're doing like face-offs of like yeah some spiritual battle right yeah. to get them right to uh to even though we clearly establish that uh, Momori is too better than everyone, yeah. he's gotta. He's the let best boy, know. apparently. Yeah, like he he really gotta let everyone know that he's the best one, right? Yeah. So anyway, then uh, then this week's uh uh imprisoned a bunch of kids into yeah. Uh, hey, into... listen, you broke the rules. Time to die. Yeah. yeah uh huh. Right. Right. Uh, I'm gonna burn you. I'm, they're all gonna burn, right? And then I'm gonna take the rest of the ranger to school and everything, right? Yeah. Right. Hey, so someone pointed this out to me. So at uh, I want to say uh, do, 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 uh, 16, 16.27, when everyone stands up, right? Because there's a there's a, there's a oh when they're in school when they're in school in the yeah, classroom right? or whatever yeah right when when they all when they all stand up the desk for Don uh Don I'm um, a uh, Kiji brother and Inu brother are CGI. Those are actual desks. For them, those are CGI tests for them. Hold on, hold on. Which I found to be actually hilarious. Uh, hold on. The funny thing about it is, oh wow, you know what it is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they are. But the the funnier thing is, I'm pretty sure that the chairs are still are still real. I, Which yeah, just means the that they, they, it just means that they did not want to go through the effort of layering, like, like cutting, like erasing and layering the the feet and stuff for them mm -hmm. behind the desks. Right. So they right. just made a new layer and put in CGI desks, which is yeah. fucking wild. Just from a like, I once you told me that I was like, I understand the logic there. That's a really lazy way to like. That's a really like. That's, it's not even, I don't know if that's the lazier thing. Would you rather make an entirely new 3D object or just erase a bunch of frames out where the, the, the shins or, like, knees, like, come up to in the desk? Mm hmm Like, right, but the problem is, then you gotta track that, right? Yeah! You gotta, but, you gotta go. But it's just, like, it's, <laughs> it's just funny that, like, their solution was just, listen, you've got two roots here. We're either making a new, th we're either making two CGI desks, or you're gonna have to like erase all this shit and track it. And it's like, boy, that's they really they they really chose like a lesser of two evils sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, anyway, look, this is, I totally had the money to add, to get two CGI desks and turn down. Yeah, right? and then they, but then also they still switched back from CGI desks to real desks uh, when like. They kicked them. Also, I've got to say, they have money for CGI desks, but they don't have money for non like late PS2 like uh fucking like Ape Escape like graphics. Like 
mm-hmm. for for Kiji brother and and Inu brother. Like mm-hmm. they really like when uh fucking Pink gets punched, and it's just like he's like actually glitching. Like when he gets punched and is just like, oh yeah, oh yeah, you can actually see the frames yeah. being fucking up. Yeah. Well, when 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 he moves, holy yeah. shit! It's right. So- like, like I said, that's one of the thing that people have. People are so decisive about this season, like whether or not the CGI was like good or bad, because it's because we know they have physical suits on both of these characters. Yeah. Because like, we see because they use them for like the in real life uh meet and greet, right? That you go. Uh uh-huh. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. Right. Right. So there's actual physical, uh properly sized suit that these that people wear right and they definitely could have actually but they really would decide let's do cgi right this year right which i still am perplexed by right absolutely insane yeah right i i don't like i don't get what is going on with uh, yeah, uh, I, Toei I, thinks the kid loves CGI, you know? It's the hip new thing that everyone's talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's... The, it, oh boy, everyone loves CGI, especially, like, marginally better CGI than they've used in the last 20 it's, years? Like... It's, it's, do you think this is... I don't think this is... I'm still under the idea that Toei has not updated their CGI program since 2010, all right? I don't know. It's like, it seems like some of, like, the effects are good, but mm-hmm. the... Right. But the, like... Models? But the, the models? The model, yeah, the models for, for characters, like, they've, they really haven't had... To, the thing is, they've done so many things in practical, I feel like they just have never had to... Like, God... There's a point in this episode where we see a uh, practical effect Kiji brother, like, pecking mm-hmm. at people. Like, they yeah, poking yeah, them yeah. in the head. And it's like, you... They they just didn't... Uh, like, they've done practical for so long that they just... I feel like they weren't... Like, they, they bit off more than they could chew by trying to make this about, like, a virtual world or whatever... Mm-hmm. Or right. the Avatar thing, um, yeah, yeah. But like, it's it's clearly not a good look. I don't know why they like just double down and just have stuck with it. Like, it's mm-hmm. really right. weird. Like, mm-hmm. especially if you think about like, again, so many of these things are about selling toys, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you think that kids are going to be more excited to buy? the pheasant and the dog because they are one looks like a lot like a stretched out poly pocket and the other one looks like a goddamn like squished sd gundam like w- like what's the point what is the actual point of like making them so weird you could have had Kiji brother just be a tall guy like just a tall dude and like oh, with I, with I don't know hey fuck what was that episode of Dinosaur like where we read about that stupid uh, fucking uh, legend Story about tall people in Japan being cursed. Oh shit! You think fuck. This, oh yeah. You think well, it's that the reason why? Oh fuck! They didn't oh. want to find a tall actor. Yeah. Well, maybe, right. Yeah. You know <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe, but you know, hey, that's their own problem. That sounds like a Japan problem. I'm just saying, <laughs> it, they like it. it, it like nah, all you, you had to do was you were they want to go after the high guy, six they, foot American. They already put like that's, they already gave the monkey. They already gave the 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 monkey <laughs> character like big ass furry biceps the the mm-hmm. only one like sort of like demon horn sort of thing has, momo like right, momotaro has like a really anything ha- new has like a has mean? like a has a top knot sort of thing but apparently we have to make them tall and lanky and short and like squatty to mm-hmm, perfectly right? in- we can't just at- throw features on to like, right? Because uh, the worst part, we've seen child a- child actors, right? This yeah. is just like a labor thing, right? Because we don't like like there's been common writer episodes where they got like a kid yeah. becoming a common writer, right? Yeah, and yeah, they, yeah. They get like they actually make go to make it, like a kid like I think Deno Deno's like the biggest example, right? yeah, right, right. When he has when, uh, the, the the future son or whatever descendant, right? And he was, and then we got like a small a small Deno suit, right? Yeah. This is like a labor thing. Like they couldn't get a kid around like. Around the entire year, to be like, "Hey, kid, we're that's gonna a good point." I guess, 
I guess in my mind, I was like, for the for the peacock for the pheasant one, I was like, okay, so like he just has to be tall. So either you put him on stilts, or you just get like a tall dude, or you just fucking like you just get a tall dude and just uh put the sort of the the pheasant features like the wings and like sort of like clawed feet mm -hmm. sort of thing like uh yeah, yeah, yeah. put 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 them on like don't I didn't think that like you could just dogs. you could just get a child suit actor and throw them in the fucking like dog suit but like I guess that's a solution too <laughs> right I don't think do actually. What do you think? Because uh, at that point, right, you have to think about it. Don't have So I told myself, I actually went through the math and realized that the cost to CGI Inu Brother every week is less than the cost is to have a child actor. I, that's have, really that's the thing. Is like have like, a have a have a probably like a third party company uh, be on site every week, making sure you don't do anything illegal or endanger the child. The amount week, right? of the amount of money they must be spending to put all of these like to like make all of these fucking models and like all of the money they're spending on cg animation is like i, I can't imagine this is is this is worth it like it's really like crazy uh mm -hmm. but you know hey at least we get a fucking goddamn mecha kaiju fight Boy, um, hey, before we go that, so we get a fight in a schoolyard, right? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, does this schoolyard look familiar to you? Yeah, it does. That's why I go, I mean, I guess this is a schoolyard. Sure. Right. But have you feel like we've seen this schoolyard before? I'm pretty sure it's. I've seen it a million different times from a million different, like, uh, common writer, like, uh, locations are and... You are you sure that this is a common Rider schoolyard? Is it Girl Gun? It might be <laughs> oh. Girl Gun. It definitely... I think this is the Girl Gun lady It just looks a little bit more, like, yellow. I get... Oh, no, you know what? It did have a blue filter the entire show, That's so, true. You know. I was thinking more of the patio thing when, um... Um... What's his name? in Exade, Kamen Rider Kronos or whatever shows up, but that's a different, like, that was a different sort of setup. That was more of, like, a... Man, the architecture in some of the locations makes you go, like, you guys really well, gonna... stole where, some where stuff. The... But that really uh, does... Fuck that. I, I just want episode... Why is this so... Okay, hey, cool. When you put up Girl Gone Lady, episode one, our thing shows up. Hey, perfect. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's in fucking... It's in goddamn, uh, uh, fucking, uh, Katakana. I have to actually look it up in fucking... In order to what do you mean you have to one? look it up in Katakana? Just I have to, to put in the search results. Go to Bandai. Wait, what are oh, you doing? Oh boy, that's a lot of. Are you doing? I'm just trying to do the straight from the YouTube search bar, right? This YouTube search bar. Just go and fucking uh, goddamn. I mean, Girl Gone Lady episode one does not help. I actually have to put in the fucking uh, what you call it. Oh uh, fuck, where is it? Oh boy, huh? I can't even find it anymore. Did I take this down? No. Uh -oh. oh wait, hold on. What I think they might have actually took no. it down, Girl Gun Lady. No. I I'm just trying to find an example of episode one. Holy shit! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was it on the Bandai channel? Bandai Spirit or something? Yeah. Huh. Bandai Spirit's global channel video. I think they might have no. taken down the episode. No, that's cheating. That's not fair. I can't guess now that the show's over and it's on media, they're like, we, we can't have people fucking uh, watching this online now. Oh. I am trying to find a screenshot of this goddamn, uh, of this goddamn, uh, fucking, uh, this fucking school graph that he fought on. And I can't find it now because of this. Yeah, I found the playlist before I found anything with that. Um, hmm. Wow, I think they actually took down the episode. I Boy, it's a good... Hey, it's a good thing we watch those episodes now, right? Yeah, I guess so. Also, I hate that uh, all of the I I I feel bad that so many of my of the like model kit reviewers that I follow also like did uh, goddamn like girl gun lady reviews. And I'm like, oh god, don't don't build those. Oh wait, nope, I found it. All right, I found the PV. All right, holy shit, it is. This actually wait. 
Oh, there you go. I it's not an actual scene, but it's from the from the preview video where they promote the thing. You can actually see uh I think Koharu was her name in the fucking Yeah, place. yeah, yeah. Alright, there you go. Yeah, this is the actual yeah, this oh, wait, this actually is the schoolyard. I was shit posting before thinking that this was the schoolyard. But no, this is oh, yeah, the Oh yeah, yeah, that that's like one hundred percent beat for beat the same place. Yep, okay, yeah. I, I mean, uh, I, I genuinely, I just thought that all three places were the same thing. I was like, oh yeah, this is the mm-hmm. X-Aid place and the fucking, like, I, I, <laughs> that, I really remember the X-Aid one specifically because I thought it was such an out of place, like, architecture for Japan at the time, mm-hmm. and like, he just, like, does it in this, gr- like, he has this whole, like, villain monologue in, like, this grandiose way, and I'm like, where the fuck are you? Why the fuck is this happening? <laughs> but this is, like, no, yeah, this is the school where a bunch of girls died. <laughs> and where another yeah. girl got 0 out of 10 for having short hair. Mm-hmm, right? Oh, yeah, by the way, I recently went back and checked... Hey, they took down all the, all those reviews, by the way. All They're of them? All, gone now. all of his yeah. or all of yours? Uh, all of his. Mine's still up for some somehow. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I looked it up. Fuck, did we I save... actually went back... Did we save screenshots of that? I, I saved them. It's, oh, it's, okay. It's saved in a phone. All right, perfect. It's, awesome. It's saved, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Memorialized. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I didn't save his later reviews. He made more of Yeah, he made he made response go- reviews, I know, but... Yeah, I didn't save those, which I was really bad. I thought about saving them. I was like, I don't... I'm, I, yeah. whatever, I, I don't care anymore yeah. about this fucking guy. Yeah. Bro, I'm not going to waste my energy. Yeah, this is not my... Reviews. Yeah, this is not worth my life. I, I got other things to do. Right, yeah. But now that they're actually gone... I'm actually kind of sad now because yeah. of this. Damn. Yeah. Right? Hey, look, hey, that just really shows you something, right? Hey, you don't know, you don't know the value of something until you lose it, right? Yeah, like hair. <laughs> anyway, speaking of losing something, uh, they fight in a virtual world, which I feel like is the first time that, at least from what I've seen, that this actually makes sense with the thematic, like, bit of, like, mm-hmm. avatars and stuff. Right, and the CG in the virtual world is actually very Yeah, it's good. way more fluid than it was when they punched Kiji Ranger. Also, it's mostly, it starts off, like, mostly practical, but then it, like, really just, like, levels, like, it, it's so much better, and I don't understand why the fuck they're... Uh, it's just so much... It, there's so many questions about, like, why is this not how this this series has been like if every I, single I guess they really want to sell how cool the megazord is but i'm know? just saying like... if every single fight ended in them like going into the virtual world to fight the gigantic version of the monster that seems like it would make thematic sense and it would be totally consistent with the story and instead they're like mm-hmm. no nah, nah, don't worry about it no nah, yeah. nah, no we we're doing uh, whatever we'll, we'll the fight fu- in the megazord battle every now and then you know yeah. right uh, we'll promote we'll promote one of the things where this this franchise is all about every like every third episode. Truly know, right? infuriating. Truly, yeah. like I cannot fucking deal with this shit. Like, mm-hmm. God, please. Yeah, but don't worry. We see Zen Kaiser Black again. Yeah. Oh for like boy. Three seconds. Yeah, there he is. There to <laughs> steal shit. Yeah, that's right. Which still doesn't make any fucking sense. When, like I said, like I said, this show has so many fucking open because the fact that they still have not. But we're still the fact that we're like seven episodes in going into by the way i forgot to point this out last week right because i don't think it, were you there when we watched the episode where kiji brother saw his wife what do you mean when he saw his wife when we have, have you seen kiji brother's wife yes we've seen kiji brother's wife okay in multiple so episodes. you were in ep- okay okay episode so two in episode six yeah which was oh, literally no, last week five. i just want to hold on i'm gonna point this five. out i just want to i'm gonna look at files for a second I just okay. want to look at files for a second. Let me just look at this. Okay. Um, at this point, it is... I have actually seen more episodes of Kiji, of Don Brother than William. Uh-oh. <laughs> Out of seven, because this is an odd number, I have done episode two, three, six, and now seven. I have literally done oh. a majority of the episodes. Jesus Christ, William. Please, come back. We all love you. We all care about you. Okay. We need you back, and I need okay, you to fucking. Okay, because episode sub five, something something got brought up that I forgot to mention and talked about. With, but I'm gonna save that for episode eight now because it, because it's relevant next because next episode talks about the mystery. Oh, okay. About yeah. how this show keeps keeps adding more fucking questions, and this this show is just Kingdom Hearts Kingdom Heart carding it right oh, now. Oh God! Well, it's Kingdom Hearts four point five. 
Oh boy, hey, look, 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 hey, look, 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 by the end of this game, we will answer your questions. All of your questions you have, all right? Hey, you know what I've got to, you know what I've got to say, uh, let's, uh, just as a, as a bit about fucking goddamn Kingdom Hearts, it's, mm -hmm. it's a real shame that they already used the three, uh, three, six, five days over, uh, two or whatever fucking, like, title, because it really feels like that's what should have been for, like, between, uh, that really could have been something they could use between uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 and Kingdom Hearts 4, but now they've already mm -hmm. used it, so they're gonna have to figure it, like, is it gonna be 3.14 fucking, like, pi shit? <laughs> like, what are they gonna do with that, man? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, we're get, hey, look, they've, it's called Missing Link. It literally called Missing Link, all right? I miss, I miss Link, too, sometimes. He's a great, great character. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's this week's episode. And oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Then we actually find out the reason why Don, by Don, has been attacking his teammates, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it wasn't it wasn't because like he has a split personality when he transforms, or he or misses, he, no, or whatever. Like he's he's not like paying attention. No, it's just because he needs to uh, make you guys uh, fight better. Yeah, but but yeah, without telling them like, oh yeah, this is just on the spot. This is we're pretty much we're gonna do uh, what they did, what they do in Tekken. Right, well, I'm just gonna throw you over the cliff and see if you survive. Oh, I was going know, to right? say it's more like dodgeball, where it's if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> oh yeah, that works too. All right, yep, that's this week's episode. We're back to Girl Gun Lady somehow. No, right? no, boy. Hey, I was hoping we escape Girl Gun Lady, but it right? turns out we can never escape. Yeah, it turns out Girl Gun Lady only allows you to escape when it allows you to escape. Yeah, much right? like the game in Girl Gun Lady. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You can't. You no one gets out for free. It turns yeah. out. All right. Jesus. Yep. That's this week's episode. Stay tuned next week, maybe Tariq. No. <laughs> All right. Coronavirus is no thing. Watch your heads for a mess. Get your shots. William, come back. The booster's a thing now. Okay. Thanks. Bye.